Hi, welcome to this workshop. I'm Aki, and I'm excited to participate in this conference for my very first time. This workshop aims to share with you my experiences in social services in Hong Kong and to let you experience the magic of Cantonese and how I create music with different people. In my past 20 years of social work practice, music has always been an important element. Back to my very first social work placement in 1999, I went a group for young people to learn guitar and share their own stories with each other throughout the process. In recent years, I started to create music with different service recipients, for instance, single parents, victims of domestic violence, ethnic minorities, elderly people, children and family, etc. I'm going to show you one of the songs called Be a Happy Family, which I work with a group of families with the Salvation Army to apply community music to discuss with families about what makes them a happy family. The framework of the song is very simple. I invited all family members to share their likes and dislikes. Not surprisingly, the conflicts between family members evolves. 
something parents likes, which children dislikes, and vice versa. This is a special scenario for them to listen to each other and to realize their differences, and start to accept and establish new ways of communication. I was fascinated about how a twelve-year-old little girl avoid to participate any activity, until she got a chance to complain her mom and share all her dislikes. That was a memorable moment for the whole group. And music creates a space for them to fully express their feelings. I will share with you more how I facilitate the group and the way I create music with them. The next song I'm going to show you is a song called "Fantastic Life," which comes from a promoting intergeneration inclusion project by Yan Oi Tong. The song is created with a group of people with age range from seven to seventy. To discuss together what a fantastic life is. I was amazed by the process how group members interact without any age barrier, and the universality of what makes life fantastic are that simple and common, no matter how old are you. In both of the songs I shared, I applied the structure of poetry of the Tang Dynasty, which is a seven-character line to compose with them. For example, in "Be a Happy Family," the structure goes like this. Every line consists of seven words, which starts from "I 最中意 means what I like most, and then leave the members to fill in the blanks. And for the dislikes paragraph, which is similar but starts with "I 唔中意 means what I don't like. And for fantastic life, I just leave them a freer structure, 
Let them discuss together what is the most important thing to make life fantastic, and let them use the poetry structure, which is seven words a line, four line a paragraph, to create the、uh, lyrics. This is one of the ways I create music with different capability. We write the lyrics first before we compose the song. With this method, people can easily participate without worrying about their music level or knowledge. In the creative process of fantastic life, there were some beautiful moments with this method, in which some of the seniors don't know how to write, and the young people became like journalists, interviewing the seniors and help them create those new works together. I will explain how we find the melody line together later when I introduce the magic of Cantonese. Before that, I want to teach you a simple number song in Cantonese. Let's learn counting together in Cantonese as a warm up. Lang, lang, ja, ja, ji, ji, sam, sam, se, se, um, um. Lock, lock, tap, tap, back, back, go, go, sub, sub. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Well done. Now we know how to count numbers in Cantonese, and let's try to count the following sequence: sam, gao, se, ling, um, yi, chat, ba, lok. One more time: sam, gao, se, ling, um, yi. Cut, but look. This is a magic code for us to learn the line tone in Cantonese. Some say it should rather call six tone instead, and I will tell you why later. You can see from the table the column pronunciation consists of consonant, vowel, and tone. The last number represents the tone starting from one to nine. So. The magic code helps us remember the tone from one to nine. The first six tone is a long tone, where the last three is a short tone. So we say Cantonese has "gao sing lok diu," which I don't know how to translate. So I put it as nine tone six intonation. Hope you see what I mean. For our easier learning. I use the six tones to explain how this slight tone difference make the word with a total different meaning. Let's take S I as example. I read the character out from tone one to tone six, which you can see its meaning in the table. C, 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 C. Tone one C. Means poem, which would become pu if you sang it in tone two. With the same consonant and vowel but different tone, the meaning can be totally different. When we apply this characteristic into song writing, Cantonese is actually a very musical language, because of the tonal change could result in very different meaning. Let's take ngo as an example. When we intend to use the word ngo in tone five, which means me in a simple melody do mi so, it would becomes ngo 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 instead of me me me. 
the meaning becomes a hungry goose p. We take another example m a a with the same melody. The melody becomes ma ma ma, which means grandma scolded at mother. These two examples show us the difficulties of writing Cantonese lyrics, but it is also the strength of Cantonese. When you write some words, the melody is there. We could have different version of the melody, but the melodic sense is strong in Cantonese. I love you in Cantonese is ngo ngo ne. We can't put it in do mi so ngo ngo ne, or even so mi do ngo ngo ne. It would become something else. If we put it in a melody, it could go with do 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 ngo ngo ne. So I combine the structure of the poetry of the Tang Dynasty and the magic of Cantonese to create music with different people. In the coming workshop, I'm going to share with you some of the warm-up activity that I do with them and how I facilitate their sharing with different themes.